so what is English Profile? Um, English Profile is um, an innovative global program of data gathering and research. And it's providing a benchmark for progress in English by clearly describing the language that learners know at each of the levels of the Common European Framework of Reference. Um, Common European Framework of Reference has been around for a while, but it's being used more and more around the world, despite the European in its name. So, for instance, um, I heard an anecdote recently that um, call centers in India are giving people jobs speaking English, speaking to people back in the UK, based on what CEFR level they've achieved. So a person who's B1 English will get a particular call center job, and a person whose English is at a higher level will get a more advanced job. So that's just one way that in another completely non-European part of the world, the common European framework is being used. Um, and we think that there is a place in the world for this kind of global standard. Um, yesterday I went to a talk that was um, exploring a couple of online programs for checking vocabulary, checking a student's level for vocabulary. And it was very interesting, but of the six or seven questions that were asked from the audience after the talk, five of them were about students' levels. So you can see, I hope you agree with me, that there is a place for a global sort of standard so that people in different countries and different parts of the world can have the same idea about what a particular level of English means. So the Common European Framework, because it's been around for a while, is a good place to start, but it's not perfect. There is some room for improvement just because things have moved on over the last 30 years or so. So I'll just give you a little bit of background explanation. These are the six levels of the Common European Framework on this slide. Um, you can see we've got A, B, and C for basic, independent, and proficient user. That's fairly clear. For each of those, there's a, there are two sub-levels, A1, A2, B1, B2, and C1, C2. Um, now these are fine as far as they go, but what do the labels actually mean? So the researchers who proposed and specified this framework back in the 1970s and 80s, they came up with a series of statements describing the six levels, and they called these statements can-do statements, and I'm assuming that some of you are quite familiar with these already. They're called can-do statements. It's a bit of an odd name, but it's the philosophy that underpins the Common European Framework and English Profile. The levels describe what students can do. They're descriptive. They're not prescriptive. They're not saying a student must do this or mustn't do this. They're based on what students actually can do at a particular level. So because the can-do statements underpin English Profile's research and because they flesh out these words like threshold, vantage, and mastery, which are just really words and we don't actually have a context to put them in, I just want to look at a few to give you a flavor of what they're like. So I'll just give you a minute to look at these. As you can see, these are three statements to do with writing skills. So you can see here, um, when a student is learning to write in English, at A2, they can write short, simple notes and messages. They can give short, basic descriptions of events. They move up to B1, they can write personal letters describing experiences, and they can describe things in detail. And then when they get up to B2, they can synthesize information and arguments from a number of sources and construct a chain of reasoned argument. But what does that mean exactly? So for instance, at B level B1 there in the middle, you can see I highlighted some words in pink. These are the sort of words that we don't really know. What does it mean? What, what does it mean? a personal letter describing an experience, describing how well, how accurately. Um, at level A2, for instance, um, a short basic description, a short simple note. What grammar patterns are involved when you write a short simple note? Um, and again, at all the levels, what functional language can students do? At, uh, what, what, what constitutes a simple question? These are the kinds of things that English Profile is looking at in order to flesh out these statements and underpin them. So um, how is English Profile doing this? And now I'm going to give you my, my cartoon. By what miracle? Um, what is the miracle of English Profile? Well, 
the miracle of English profile is corpus data. So when the, these can-do statements were first written and when the levels were established a couple of decades ago, corpus data was probably just a dream. Um, and we can do things now um, with technology that were just unimaginable to the people that actually specified the can-do statements and set up the CEFR in the first place. Um, Again, I assume that a lot of you are familiar with the idea of a corpus and corpus data, but I'll just give you a little bit of an idea. Um, and Anne will talk about corpus some more because her work is, her work is corpus based. Um, this is what, these are corpus lines called concordance lines. And um, the, a corpus is basically just a massive collection of data that's stored in a computer database and can be searched and analyzed in different ways using special software. And at Cambridge, we're very, very lucky because we have this amazing resource that we call the Cambridge International Corpus. And it's um, the tool that we use to inform a lot of our materials. We have authors and editors working with it all the time. And it's a collection of over a billion words of spoken and written English. And if you think of the Cambridge International Corpus as a big umbrella with it more than a billion words, underneath it, underneath that umbrella, we have some sort of sub corpora. One of them is the Cambridge Learner Corpus, which is a database, a big corpus of learner English. And it's based on Cambridge exam scripts. And it's about 35 million words, I believe, in that range. Um, and Anne, Anne uses it a lot, and we'll talk about it in more detail, so I won't do that now. Um, another corpus, that subcorpus that we have at Cambridge is um, something that we've called the um, Cambridge English Profile Corpus. And this is a corpus that we're collecting specially for the English Profile Program of learner data outside the exam context, mostly. So spoken data is something that we're very interested in. Um, and we've, we've just recently, with um, collaboration from a hotel management school in Shannon, Ireland, if you look carefully at this picture, you'll see my co-presenter. Um, the, first, the first big um, English element of the English Profile Corpus is called the Class Corpus, which is a collaboration among the press, the University of Limerick's Mary Immaculate College, where Anne is based, and the Shannon College of Hotel Management. Now you think, what does hotel management have to do with corpus linguistics and English profile? Well, this is an interesting institution. It's got more than 20 languages represented in the student body. And a colleague of Anne's um, and Anne together, they worked and, and were able to record over, I believe it's over 100 hours of, of student speech. So classes, tutorials, practical demonstrations, and so on. And all this data was collected and is now being transcribed and will form part of the English Profile Corpus, which researchers such as Anne and some other colleagues are able to use to help make the can-do statements of English Profile uh, more understandable un under English Profile. So remember this idea of collecting data from students, because I'll come back to it at the very end of my talk. So just a quick recap before I hand over to Anne. Um, English Profile is a massive collaborative effort to establish a detailed, useful, objective description for all level, levels of the common European framework for grammar, vocabulary, and functional language using corpora and other resources. And like I said at the beginning of my talk, we're hoping that English Profile will become sort of the benchmark for students' language level that can be used around the world. Um, English Profile will allow material developers and syllabus designers and publishers to create material that it will be tailored to a particular level and create a sort of a gold standard for English language learning. <coughs> 